Hello and welcome to Webdev Mentors YouTube channel and this is Wasam Kumar and it's a new series in Webdev Mentors. So it's programming in Java for beginners as the name suggests it's going to be a beginner series that's going to cover a lot of basic concepts and fundamentals of Java and programming itself. So if you're not having any kind of knowledge in Java programming or C, C++ programming you can still learn Java programming uh, effectively with this beginner series. So the course concentration includes a lot of things. It's going to start with the Java programming introduction for beginners. So you will be introduced to the basic stuff that is needed in order to learn Java to kickstart Java programming uh, is something that you need to know the basics what is has to be done before starting with Java and we'll also be learning programming with Java directly even if you're not having any kind of programming knowledge or experiences so Java is an object-oriented programming language so you'd be learning a lot of concepts that is involved in object-oriented programming language and uh, it's going to cover something like class, objects, polymorphism, inheritance, uh, data hiding, and various other stuff. And this course is actually preliminary course for Android application development. So you will be learning a lot of Java that is needed for Android application development. We're going to do some Android application development codes later on. So we thought, okay, let's start with uh, Java codes because people might be there who doesn't know Java, but Android application development needs Java in order to. Uh, create an application in there so you need some experiences and knowledge in Java so we're gonna put this course before Android application development and it's going to cover all the methods and concepts that is needed for basic Java programming and for Android application development as well so when you go into the Android application development course you'd be feeling that okay we know these stuffs and it's kind of going to be something that is not known or we're not going to be get used to it anything like that and the course objective includes a few things uh, it's going to lead to Java programming knowledge, so you'd be having a lot of knowledge on Java uh, at the end of this course and also object-oriented programming knowledge. It's necessary that you know object-oriented programming knowledge uh, because uh, there's a lot of languages that is uh, mainly concentrated on object-oriented programming language. So it's going to be something like C Sharp, C++, PHP and various other programming that is uh, actually coming into OOPS concepts. And the methods and concepts mostly used in Android application development, as I said, it's going to be a preliminary course for Android application development. So you'll be uh, going through a lot of uh, methods, concepts, and uh, various other stuff that is needed for Android application development. And we will also be giving you an introduction and also some uh, basic idea of how to develop programs or applications with IDEs. IDE is nothing but an integrated development environment uh, for robust development. So we'll be giving you introduction and also get going through how to actually program with the help of IDE. And what you should do is that try not to skip videos. Follow along each and every video. Do uh, things practically. Implement the codes and uh, programs practically. And get the outputs and know how you can do it. And uh, don't skip videos as I said, don't skip even a single video because at the one point if you skip videos you will be feeling that there is something missing, you don't know something and that's something that we don't want to uh, do at one, any point. And try to manually type codes, uh, we will not be providing you any codes anywhere in GitHub or SEM or wherever, it's not going to be available, you have to type your codes manually. This is to encourage you to type the code, make mistakes, try to find the solutions and learn programming a little bit deeper. So it's very difficult uh, to spot errors, but when you start spotting errors, it's very easy for you to learn programming. So that's going to be very important. And uh, it's going to be a road to Android development codes. So as I said, it's going to cover a lot of concepts and basic stuff that's needed for Android application development. So try to actually uh, be ready for Android application development as well. And if you're not having that idea, you can still learn a lot of Java in this. And if you're having Android application development uh, idea uh, later on, uh, this is the right code for you to actually follow along. So what I expect from this code is a series of stuff. It's going to be a beginner level program. Uh, so it's going to cover a lot of stuff with big explanations, elaborations. So you might feel that, okay, these videos are a bit longer, but uh, still uh, it's needed. And we'd be having loads of videos covering each and every simple stuff. So there is a huge number of video lists that's going to happen in this playlist. So you have to follow along each and everything. But uh, we're trying to make sure that it, these videos are very small so that you don't get irritated over a period of time. Things that is easy to grasp will be covered in this. Uh, it's not going to cover deeper stuff or complex stuff that is really very difficult for people in the beginner level to follow along and uh, get confused easily. And as I said, things that are needed for Android application development will be covered effectively in this code so you can expect a lot of things 
that you would be using at the Android application development as well in this course. So keep your eyes open if you're willing to learn Android application development. And as I said earlier on, no codes, not even a single line of code will be provided in anywhere. No files, no snippets, no project files anywhere in GitHub or SEM will be provided to you. This is to encourage you to type the code manually. Type it on the notepad or type it on the IDE and execute it, find the errors, find the solutions and know how to get through uh, the programs and uh, get the outputs at the end. And that's the end of this video and this is just a video to actually introduce you to what this course contents are going to be, what you can expect from this course, what you have to do in order to complete this course successfully. And we'll be uploading videos each and every day, at least one video per day and maybe two to three videos per day. We'll be trying to keep the video short and uh, very easy for you to grasp. Well, that's the end of it. Uh, thank you for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please subscribe because you will be knowing a lot of uh, announcements that is made in this uh, channel. If you have any kinds of uh, comments, or suggestions, or feedbacks, please feel free to share it. And uh, you can use the comment section in this video itself to share it. Or you can use our Facebook, Twitter feed, or Google Plus channels in order to uh, contact us. And you can even mail us at uh, webdementors at gmail.com. And we'll be promptly replying to you. Thank you for watching this video.